Hi everyone, I just wanna thank you so much for joining us for Tuesday's tip. My name is Julie Johnson and these tips are brought to you by Vine Images. Welcome to week number 37. A lot of photographs in the winter are taken indoors and sometimes you have to deal with unwanted um, things in your images such as light switches or speakers on the ceiling and you might have the most perfect spot but you're like oh my gosh how am I gonna get that light switch out of the picture or do I have to move the bride so today I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to remove unwanted switches or speakers like you can see behind me on the wall from your images. So we're gonna go into Photoshop now and uh, we'll see you in there in a minute. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and this is the patch tool right here that we're gonna be using. So we're gonna select that and we're gonna go over to the light switch here and we're just gonna select around the light switch and we're gonna drag it up there and voila, the light switch is gone. Very easy to use. Now we're going to um, select the vent. We're going to pull it down. So as you can see on the top, we're using the source um, feature of this tool. So um, sometimes it can take a little bit of time to process, but um, overall it's pretty quick. So there you have it. So now, just in case there's a little bit of shadow differences, you can keep using this tool just around the area. And uh, so we're just going around this area a little bit just to smooth it out, make the wall um, shadowing very even. So another thing that you can do is take your selection, your lasso tool, which is right here, and we're just gonna lasso in this area and we're gonna right click on our mouse here and we're gonna feather it till up to about 100 is good and then we're going to filter, blur, and we're going to Gaussian blur this just to make the wall uh, totally blurry and uh, evenly um, shadowed just to make it perfect. So then we're gonna select, deselect, and done. The image is done in a quick and easy amount of time. Okay, so the next image is um, the image that we uh, we tape Tuesday's tip in in our hall. And uh, so as you can see, we have the speaker, we've got the pot lights. So we're gonna take our, um, our tool there and I'm gonna show you the destination. So as you can see, we selected above um, where the pot light is and then we've put it over top of where we want it to go. So that feature is destination. So now we're gonna go to this little switch on the wall and um, here you go. And we're gonna move that down, make our selection. I usually work by source as opposed to destination just cause I find it a little bit easier. So what can happen here sometimes, we're gonna select this speaker with darker items, you can have this happen. I'm gonna show you here, we're gonna pull this down and uh, you wanna match it up perfectly. This is CS5 guys, so you can see how we can match up the frame of the window there. And so this can happen. So in this case, this tool is not the best. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our lasso, we're gonna make a selection of the wall, we're going to feather it at 10%, um, I'm gonna say okay, and then we're gonna go edit copy, edit paste, and we're gonna move up that new layer on top of where the speaker um, was there. As you can see, it's a little bit lighter shade of the wall. So what we're going to do is um, we're gonna go up to our bar and we're gonna go image adjustments curves. So we're just changing the curves, making that layer a little bit darker so that it blends more in with the wall. See, you can almost blend it perfectly. So then if you're still a little concerned, we're gonna just take our eraser um, and we're just gonna blend the, uh, the sides of that layer so it's nice and smooth. And there you have it. So now the last thing to be um, removed out of this picture is the light switch. So we're gonna, again, take our tool there, um, select it. So we're just gonna move it up on the wall and um, there you go, it's almost done. So sometimes there's a little bit of remnant left over. You can just do it again, usually, um, and it'll be fine. 
Okay, so if you want to make sure it's blended perfectly, you could also make a selection, feather it, and then Gaussian blur it. So anyways, guys, that's it. I just, uh, I hope you learned something new, and um, I hope you don't let a light switch interfere with any of your photography anymore, just so you know that you can remove anything. On behalf of Vine Images, I just want to thank you so much for joining us for Tuesday's tip. We hoped you learned something. We're trying to keep these short and sweet, guys, so you can pick it up very quickly. And um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying them, and we'll talk to you soon. Leave your comments below and email your requests to vineimages at hotmail.com. If you're not on Facebook, join us on there. We'd love to have you. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash Vine Images Inc. Thanks. Bye.